Each of our Rukmala is the origin of Buddha. It's the first Buddha, that means. It's the first Buddha. Before any Buddhas, this is the first Buddha. Why is it called Buddha? It's total enlightenment. Total enlightenment. Free from all the obscurations. Free from all the negativities. The, all the quality of enlightenment, whatever you explain, whatever you read in the book, book or Buddha teaching, is all within this Rukpa. So that means all the mistakes and the error is totally free, free that this origin of Buddha, and all the quality of the enlightenment reach is completely within that. In the Tibetan teaching or the Buddhist teaching, they always say, Chung kun zi, chung ding kun ding. Means all the errors and mistakes, free from all the errors and mistakes. Now all aspects of good qualities are completed within this Rupa. And therefore it is enlightened. It is the origin of Buddha. How that Buddha? It's not just a Buddha, Buddha. It is the embodiment of three kayas. And you all know Dharmakaya, Sambhukaya, and Narmakaya. This Rupa is embodiment of three kaya. And what in the Dokchi teaching pointed out that emptiness aspect of Rupa is Dharmakaya. Clarity, if, if the clarity aspect of Rupa is Sambhukaya. The display of energy, ready to arise, that aspect of the Narmakaya. Reality level all together. There is no difference in three parts. This. That is our Rupa, your Rupa, my Rupa. So that three guy of Buddha is right now with us. Right now with us. And this is here, his own. He said, this is the, the salt bone awareness is. The salt bone awareness is the Buddha. This is the Buddha. He pointed out right now. He's not saying that it will be Buddha. It was Buddha. He said, right now, this is the Buddha. That is Buddha. Believe it or not. That is what is really teaching. And this is known as also the original Dharmakaya. It never separated from us. Here it says, next line says, never separated from us. But never separated. And, uh, and even though never separated, but only we discover today by the teaching of the Buddha Shakyamuni, Ongarabhema Sambha, O Buddha Samadha, we discover. This is again Great Master Maitira. Maitira, the future Buddha, and also in his teaching said, said that he used the examples. How we are, we didn't see this. Um, he used the examples. He said, and there's, for example, one poor man. Poor man, he's having so difficult surviving for him to have food. Food, so poor, desperate. He's just a shortage of everything, but even to eat, he's having all these troubles. And he's suffering. Poverty stays all the time. So be long time. And one minute there, he knows that all the country that was called what's called the mining. He knows the skill of the mining. Skill of the mining. And so he saw this poor is suffering so much with power. Power he saw. He saw that man's underground, his house has big solid gold. Big solid gold. So now he has big solid gold under his basement or be bedroom, but he is. I, I don't think he has many rooms, the bedroom, dining room, this and that thing. He's so poor, but just one room where he's staying. And he's see that. So do I and he don't have to be suffered. That there's such a big gold there, that thought. But however, even though he has that gold there, God is not saying to that poor man, hey, I'm here, use me. And also poor men don't know the gold I have. I have that gold. But once you discover that gold, that man known, and 
now other men said, oh, there is gold. And he started digging up that with effort and gold that and polish it and he began to use that. Then he is one of the richest, wealthiest persons. That is the same way this Tathagata Garbha, the Buddha nature, Asal Bong, Evans, Dharma Kai, is never separated from us. They are separated from us. But we didn't discover it until the gracious kindness, convicted teachings of the Buddha. We never discovered it. Itself. And when it is not discovered, we dilute it, dilute it. We carry it by the force. And always looking something and hoping something, hoping something, hoping something. Be on and on. And not struggling with that. Not achieving everything what we want. But now when we discover that, now, therefore, here again is it, recognize that the right time, this time, when we have that opportunity. And feel great joy, great appreciation, great devotions. How fortunate I am, how grateful I am. Great teacher, Buddha, and all those lineage masters and lineage teachers, all lineage Sangha members, maintain and kept this golden, natural, like teaching of loving kindness, the compassion, wisdom. It's wonderful. Today I'm reconnected to that teaching. With that, I discovered my treasures. How beauty, how precious it is. With that. So, therefore, with that acknowledgement, with that also is a devotion too. With the devotion, with both each other, and relax again. Relax in that natural states. Status. And, and then gradually, gradually we will get that realization will come stronger and stronger. It will come to the S. Then state of the state of the very stable status, or it will bring us to realization, then truly or to the ordinary natural status. And that is comes gradually. Gradualists here. The gradualists. And so when, when it comes, now when it will come, but during that time, during that time, how we are going to take care of that? that? Whether it is the, during the meditation or the post meditations. Always that we should do. Should hear again the next one, next line, and next two lines, or, or maybe two, three. Three 